Welcome viewers. Today we will be solving for 2 raised to the power of 15 minus 2 raised to the power of 14 without using a calculator. So we will be solving 2 raised to the power of 15 minus 2 raised to the power of 14. But we can simply rewrite 2 raised to the power of 15 as 2 raised to the power of 14 plus 1. But for the purpose of this particular video, so the question you will ask is, why did you break the 15 into 14 plus 1? Why didn't we break it into 13 plus 2 or even 11 plus 4? Now, look at the top right, 2 raised to the power of 14. 2 raised to the power of 14 can also be contained in 2 raised to the power of 15. So that's why we used the 2 raised to the power of 14 as the basis for which we will break the 2 raised to the power of 15. So since there's a 14 on the top right, that 14 can also be contained in the top left, that is, in the 2 raised to the power of 15. So in essence, we are now saying that 2 raised to the power of 15 is equals to 2 raised to the power of 14 plus 1. And that now gives us 2 raised to the power of 14 times 2 raised to the power of 1. Now what we can see clearly is that 2 raised to the power of 15 is now expressed as 2 raised to the power of 14 times 2 raised to the power of 1. So what we have on the top left, 2 raised to the power of 15, we have now expressed it as 2 raised to the power of 14 times 2 raised to the power of 1. And of course, what we now have on top as 2 raised to the power of 14 is what we have at the bottom. So like I earlier said, 2 raised to the power of 14 times 2 raised to the power of 1 at the bottom left is equivalent to the 2 raised to the power of 15. And of course, our 2 raised to the power of 14 we have at the bottom right is the same as what we have on the top as expressed. So we have as rewritten 2 raised to the power of 15 minus 2 raised to the power of 14 is now expressed as shown. That is 2 raised to the power of 14 times 2 raised to the power of 1, all enclosed in the bracket, minus 2 raised to the power of 14, which is also enclosed in the bracket. Now, if you look at above, you see that 2 raised to the power of 14 is common here and is also found here. So it is common in the 2, and therefore we can bring it out in order to factorize. So when you bring out the 2 raised to the power of 14 from the first bracket, and then you bring it out from the second bracket, you are left with 2 raised to the power of 1 minus 1. Because when you bring it out from the first bracket, this remains. And then when you bring it out from this bracket, you're dividing it by 2 raised to the power of 14, so you now have the expression 1. So this is further simplified as 2 raised to the power 1 minus 1, which is 2 minus 1. And then that multiplies 2 raised to the power 14. So 2 raised to the power 14 times 1, because 2 minus 1 is equals to 1. So 2 raised to the power 14 times 1 is equals to 2 raised to the power 14. Therefore, we can clearly say that 2 raised to the power of 15 minus 2 raised to the power of 14 is equal to 2 raised to the power of 14. But we want to use this video to show that it really is 2 raised to the power of 14. What I mean is that 2 raised to the power of 15 minus 2 raised to the power of 14 
is actually equals to 2 raised to the power 14. And we'll be looking at the first proof, and then thereafter we will look at the second proof. Now, if you look above, we have said that 2 raised to the power 15 minus 2 raised to the power 14 is equal to 2 raised to the power 14. And that's what we're seeing here. So if we make 2 raised to the power 15 the subject of formula, that is what we see here, it therefore means that we take this minus 2 raised to the power 14, we take it to the right hand side, that is, it now crosses the quality sign and then now becomes plus 2 raised to the power 14. Remember, there's already a 2 raised to the power 14 already there. So by the time we add the two of them, so we have the expression 2 raised to the power 15 is now equals to 2 raised to the power 14 plus 2 raised to the power 14. So a plus a is equals to 2a. This is like an a and plus another a. That tells us it is 2a. Well, let's just see how that becomes 2 raised to the power 14 plus 2 raised to the power 14. Let's simplify it. And like I said, it's equal to 2 into 2 raised to the power 14. A plus A now becomes 2A. So 2 raised to the power 14 plus 2 raised to the power 14 will simplify it further. So we just mentioned that um, 2 raised to the power 14 plus 2 raised to the power 14 is 2 times 2 raised to the power 14, which is correct. A plus A is equal to 2A. Now, with this expression, that is 2 times 2 raised to the power 14, is the same as 2 raised to the power 1 times 2 raised to the power 14. And in indices, once you have the same base, you have the base of 2 here, you have another base of 2. When you're multiplying them, what you simply do is to add the index. So we'll add 1 plus 14. And then we retain the common base, which is 2. So we, we retain the base, 2. And then we add the exponents, which is 1. And then plus 14. So that gives us... 2 raised to the power 15. So we have seen that 2 raised to the power 14 plus 2 raised to the power 14 is 2 raised to the power 15. So it therefore tells you and I that 2 raised to the power 14 plus 2 raised to the power 14 is 2 raised to the power 15 as we had clearly seen. And therefore, if we make 2 raised to the power 15 subtract 2 raised to the power 14, what do we have? we have 2 raised to the power 14. So that clearly shows us that 2 raised to the power 15 minus 2 raised to the power 14 is equals to 2 raised to the power 14. Now the second proof will pertain us to actually find out what 2 raised to the power 15 is using a calculator. Remember we solved it without using a calculator. It is only in this proof that we're trying to use a calculator. Now, 2 raised to the power 15 is equals to 32,768. You can use your calculator or you can use Excel. I used Excel a little bit. Now, what do we have for 2 raised to the power 14? We have 16,384. Now, if we take 2 raised to the power 15 and we subtract 2 raised to the power 14. Let's see what we get. So we have 32,768 minus 16,384. And that gives us 16,384, which is the same as 2 raised to the power 14. Why? Because that 16,384, if you look above, we'll see that 16,384 is 
2 raised to the power 14. So if we get an answer after subtracting as 16,384, it is equals to 2 raised to the power 14. So we have 2 raised to the power 15 minus 2 raised to the power 14. And we know what 2 raised to the power 15 is. It is 3, 2, 7, 6, 8. That is 32,768. And we know what 2 raised to the power 14 is. 16,384. By the time we simplify the subtraction, we have 16,384. And remember earlier we had expressed 2 raised to the power 14 as 16,384. That is what we have there is equivalent to what we have there and it's equivalent to what we have here. So we know that 2 raised to the power 15 minus 2 raised to the power 14 is equal to 2 raised to the power 14. Thank you for watching this YouTube video. If you have gained any value from this video, kindly subscribe, kindly like, and kindly share.